NASA researchers have cautioned that the Yellowstone supervolcano is going to eject much sooner than foreseen. Scientists considering the leftovers of past ejections found that the procedure that leads from the principal indications of noteworthy magma arrangement to emission is altogether shorter than already figured it out. ThePitchTimes.com reports, scientists now trust the procedure may take simple decades, and brings the likelihood of emission nearer. It's stunning how little time is required to take a volcanic framework from being peaceful and staying there to the edge of an ejection said Hannah Shanlu, an Arizona State University graduate understudy engaged with the examination, to the New York Times. We expected that there may be forms occurring more than a huge number of years going before the emission, said Christy Till, a geologist at Arizona State. Additional time is expected to foresee a more correct time period, yet preceding the latest investigation, researchers from NASA were looking for approaches to keep an emission. They felt that by cooling the magma close to the surface of the caldera, hole, that they could back off any potential emission, the BBC announced. Since this latest examination demonstrates the procedure prompting an ejection is significantly shorter, researchers would need to recalculate how much cooling power they would need to produce and in the event that it would even be conceivable to create enough to have any kind of effect. The Yellowstone Spring of Gushing Lava is one of around 20 known supervolcanoes. The last time Yellowstone ejected was 630,000 years back. Because of the expanded action at the site, researchers foresee an emission could happen when the 2030s, it has been accounted for. A Category 8 ejection would annihilate the United States and wipe out a noteworthy part of the nation. Hot fiery debris could cover 20 states. Hypothetical physicist Michio Kaku said in a meeting with Fox News. As indicated by the New York Times, an emission would heave 2,500 times more material than the 1980 Mount St. Helens emission in which 57 individuals were murdered. 